Hey guys, Peter here. So a couple of days ago, I read something over social media that the BIR is now gonna start taxing people that earn their money from the internet. So that means people from YouTube, TikTok, I don't know, Twitter or OnlyFans. I don't really know if OnlyFans is included, but anyway, that's another video. So anyway, um, I mean, that's fair enough. Like being an influencer is just like any other job really. So a client pays you and that's money coming from someone and that should be taxed. We all know that the government always want their cut on the pie. Even if you're a street vendor or you're a famous person. If you don't want to pay taxes, just be a politician. That's just, that's the easy part. He's a young fella with a big fancy house, unlimited cash supply, and no job. Now, what is the conclusion the tax man makes? I'm a drug dealer. Eh, wrong. Million times worse. You're a tax cheat. So I find it ironic that the agency will pay 1 million pesos to someone that will rat out their friends for tax evasion when they barely even have a working site at all. And I realized, I'm a designer, I do this for a living. I create websites, I create mobile apps, I improve them, and whatnot, etc, etc. Maybe I can use this as an opportunity to create a design and hopefully it can be seen by a couple of people from the agency and maybe they can tell, uh, and maybe they can do something about it. So let me tell you why the design is bad and hopefully you can learn a thing or two about web design. So, when you type in bear.gov.ph, you will be taken to a landing page. Generally, landing pages are bad user experience because instead of taking them directly where the information resides, which is the home page, you're adding an additional step before the users will actually see the information that you want to show them. So, for example, you have 10 people using the site, and 9 of them already knows what to do, they're familiar with how websites work and whatnot, but then you have grandma, who doesn't even know how websites work or barely knows how to use a computer. And then she types in bear.gov.ph and she sees the landing page. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to click on. All your grandma see is like a blue screen with like a drop down menu. She doesn't know what to do. She's alone. So she closes the site, turns off the computer and that's it. So the government is not catering to the people that doesn't know what to do, which is the older people. So when you arrive on the homepage, the first thing that you see is a slider. So sliders are those website components where you have to click an arrow to see the other slides. But the problem is, 98% of users don't click on the other slides. So all of those information on the other slides are not visible anymore and no one can see them. So that's a problem. So the next thing that I have a problem with is the menu. It's not really intuitive and it's not the first thing that you see when you arrive on the homepage, which is not ideal. You want your links to be visible and clear so that your users will know what to click on when they're looking for something. Another thing is the search bar. It's not visible, it barely works, and it doesn't draw the user's eye towards it. So for example, if your grandma is looking for how she can get a tax break because she's already 70 years old and she just wants to look for something on the site but she can't find the search box so that's it that's a problem but the biggest thing that i have a problem with is the design and the static of the site it looks like it's from 20 years ago where strong gradients are king usability is bad and font sizes are all over the place so while I was doing research for this video, I had to check the site on my phone. And the design was so bad that I just didn't know where to start. Another thing that I have a problem with on mobile is how the menu looks like. I mean, it's, 50, it's covering 50% of the total page. So you will have to scroll up and down before you can actually see information. And don't get me started with Revy here. I mean, it's obvious enough that she has to go. Anyway guys, enough of me ripping apart the design, I mean, it's obvious enough that it's bad. But hopefully someone from the agency will see this video and maybe push them a little bit on improving their usability, design, and maybe things will change in the future. So let me show you my design and hopefully you enjoy the video and 
hopefully you like my design So that's it guys, I hope you liked my video and I hope you liked my design and hopefully you learned a thing or two about web design and user experience with me. If you have websites or mobile apps that you want me to redesign next, comment down below and we'll do that on the next video. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Behance and other socials are in the description down below. Also don't forget to like and subscribe I try to upload twice a week. And the channel is going to be about web design, photography, freelancing, and anything tech related in between. And I promise, there won't be any laugh tracks in the channel, so don't worry about it. So have a great day, wear a mask, and get vaccinated.